flower pots in front of my shop. Lecture one one five two zero. In my town, merchants usually decorate their shops by putting flower pots by the front door, and so do I. So it happens that every once in a while, a pot disappears. It happened to me too, but at one time I remembered your teachings, Master, and I turned to the Father. Father, I said, those flowers are not for the shop; they are to give joy to those who pass by. After the prayer, all my pots stayed where they were supposed to. Master, what should we learn from this story? Thank you. It is probable that someone could be tempted by those flowers, especially if they are in plain sight outside the door. But wouldn't it be a good thing if that person that stole the flowers would then enjoy them with other people? Even with this attitude, how many pots could they ever take away? And anyway. Even if some pots, in fact, disappeared, isn't it nice to give something to your country every once in a while? To live your daily life with such a high-quality attitude would grant you an economical return ten times higher than what you have lost by letting people take two or three pots. This way, you would simply buy and display even prettier flowers. On the other hand, to think something like "I'm so angry, I want to catch the guy who did this," would just have you lose all your flowers, and not just that. Based on the quality of our way of thinking, everything around us is destined to change. Our thought should be mild, like the scent of flowers. Thought. Is sent. Now let's dive deeper, shall we? Any time you stoop to smell a flower, it is only your body that perceives the scent. Your body, though, does not belong to you. It is part of our father's property, and it originated from a spirit. And just like the rest of all exists in nature, it belongs to him. It is his body. All the material energy that exists in the universe is Father Himself, and it is subject to constant changes. It adapts to the modification of its surroundings. What about humankind then? Which is our place amongst all of this? Who is the human being? I am a human being. I am immaterial energy that dwells inside a material cocoon that does not belong to me. I am the soul. All of us human beings are made up of two types of energy fused together. Everything that comes to us through our senses is coded by our bodies. Only then, the information reaches our souls. Our thought is, on the other hand, the product of our soul elaboration, which is our true self. That thought is our scent. Now, when you place those pretty flowers outside your door, think of it as a nice thing that someone could take them and share the joy of their beauty. This way, you would stop checking on them every second, and should it happen that you see someone laying their hand on your flowers, you could say, "Please go ahead; these are for you," with a smile on your face. With such a generosity in your mind, nature will always be by your side.